Okay, we're on. Hi, to tell you what, Sister Sharon and Rosie, and we went to see, oh, thanks for waiting around for us. We had some personal business, but we're okay now. We're going to try to come back every week. Oh, okay. So we saw A Quiet Place. John Kucinich and his wife, Emily Blunt, and, a, and, and, and their kids. <laughs> And their kids, it, it, the only thing about the movies, it doesn't tell you why these monsters are here. They're blind. And they're, they're, they, 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 they um, react to sound. And when the sound happens, they just come and eat you immediately. They cut you in half. Well, they just kind of like suck you up and eat you. So, it, the only thing about it, that's the one thing I didn't, you don't know how they got here. You don't know if they were man-made or they were... They dropped out of the space, whatever. They were scary looking things. It was very interesting concept, though. Very, okay. very original. Now they have three children. This couple, and they, it's a, it's a, it's a story of survival. It's uh, it's got a lot of those, one of these like you know these kind of jump things, don't it's it? Very, yes, it's very, very suspenseful. Very it is suspenseful. suspenseful. So, um, John Kucinich, he uh, uh, co wrote co Kaczynski. Is that how you say? I think it's Kaczynski. Kaczynski? We got about one minute. The guy from the office. have to come out from under here because it's very suffocating. <laughs> anyway. So it's him and his mm -hmm. wife, Emily Blunt. They're married in real life. They both star in it. The three kids in it, uh, the two you know of, are Emily, no, her Mal Maleficent Simmons. Uh -huh. She's actually deaf, this little girl. She was excellent. She was about 12 or 13. And then the little boy is... Um, mm, she was older than that. Well, you think she was that, older than that? I think she was. That doesn't matter. What was the boy's name? Elliot... Juke? No, and I know. Noah. Noah. Noah Zook. Juke. Zook. J U J U P E. Yeah, he was really good. He I say he's about eight or ten in it. And it's just how they survive with this thing. The good thing I really liked about it, it was only ninety minutes long, so it didn't drag out. You know, it's hard to watch a movie when there's no dialogue it's in it. Slow in the beginning, yeah. It, it was is. slow. Yeah, but they meant they 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 managed to communicate. And then you started getting it too. You know, they played a Monopoly board and had little felt on the bottom because they moved their pieces quietly. They always had their shoes off. They always wore bare feet everywhere. They grew their own food. It was it was very successful. It really was. In the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't know about this movie. But then as you watch it, <coughs> you have to watch it. I have to come out. She's got to come out. Come so out. Uh, we heard that Stephen King loved this. It got 95%. <gasps> Ninety. Welcome, Sharon. Oh my God, <laughs> you got ninety-five percent rotten tomatoes. I couldn't breathe. Did it? Ninety-five percent rotten tomatoes. Yeah, it, it got a lot of rave reviews, and it's saying it's one of the best suspenseful movies of the year. I'm sorry, I couldn't stay in there. It's very suffocating. It is very suspenseful. Honestly, God, it is. You're like, and it's stupidest little things. You know when they when they do, it's it's very suspenseful. It really is. That was the main thing about it. I thought. I don't and know if kids can fast. see it. There, there wasn't really a whole lot of um. No, there was a couple little bloody scenes in it. Like she steps on a nail and she, there's blood there. And oh my god, that was hard. Oh, she's pregnant. That was bad. She's pregnant in this movie, and it's very bad. That's what they said the movie's about. Would you consider having children in a world like in that? In this world, like no, no. Uh, she had to be pregnant before all this happened. But that's the one thing I didn't like either. I didn't know why it was the way it was. I don't know what happened. I guess we can proceed. And the that ending it was, was kind of weird too. You don't know what happens at the end either. Alien invasion. Oh, uh, she was just reading that two two kids from what college? Iowa, University of Iowa. Yes, wrote they, this. They wrote this, and he joined in and wrote it too. But you know what? One really cool concept I want to say real they quick were is that studying Charlie Chaplin. Is that yeah? They were studying Charlie yes. Chaplin, but. You know, and when he was in, when John Kucinich was in the in the office, you know how he had, what is it? I keep saying Krasinski. it wrong. Whatever. Don't matter. So, like, when he was in the office, they had, like, how always had a lot of close-ups with his face and, like, they were always making these faces and stuff. That's what he relied on, that training with that TV show, to show, like, respiring and, and fear in the eyes and without using yeah, any language. Yeah, it shows you how much you can see without even talking. Yes, yeah, so that was can, that was the that was the twist of this whole movie. How you can get what people are saying without saying a word. Yeah, so yes. it's pretty good. And I like the fact that, it, like I said, it didn't drag out. It was only ninety minutes long, and you know, uh, that it was, was good. I would recommend it. I would definitely recommend it. I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's vote because they got crap out there right now. 
other movies are coming out. It looks like a couple good ones coming out. We're going to see. Oh, oh we got a You're vote. back? We got a vote. God, it's been so long. I don't even remember. I'm giving it three and a half. I'm going to give it three and a half, too. I like that. You're giving because, it three and a half, too? Yeah, I'm going to give it three and a half. I was going to give it three, but I agree. I'm going to give it three and a half because of the suspensefulness of it. And then movies are hard to come by. Uh, Just Breathe. That was one. Remember Just one of those, Breathe? Like, low budget oh, that movie. was good. That's suspenseful. That's what we're talking about. I think these two that were really... I think that uh, him, her, her, him and his wife were really, really good. And you can see the, the, really the, 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 the terror and the fear in their faces. And even the kids. Even the kids. I mean, the you could really read. Good. The little you could, boy... The girl was really good too. The little yeah, boy you was could so read, You could read the uh, yeah, it's the, five minutes. We the fear go. on him. Okay, we're make us five minutes. All right, we're I gonna try to come back every week from now we on. Thanks for thanks we're for not all gonna the try. emails. And we're going to do it. Okay, all the emails and the Summer, text. No we're asking, back. We're asking back. That everybody said they missed us. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Okay. We do. Thank you for missing <laughs> us. Oh, and they didn't make any noise. They just had ears that were like two. Yeah, they were blind, but they could hear anything. Okay, I'll thanks a lot. We'll, back roof. in the groove. There's a couple of good ones coming out soon. And one with a bunch of older actresses who, are, who have like oh, a midlife yeah, crisis. The, uh, and that looks great. Jane Fonda's in it and all yeah, that. We'll talk about good. that later, though. Okay. All right, six all right thanks, everybody. All right, bye. Thanks for having me. Where's you. the button at? Is that it there? Yes. No. It's still on, I think. Where's the button at? Is it down there?